Hey, and welcome back to the Buck Run Kids Show. It's Pastor Scott, joined again by Mr. Seth. We're glad that you're here. Uh, I hope that you have uh, really been keeping up with your Bible reading, with your snapshot verses. Um, it's a lot has happened in the last few weeks in the Bible as we walk through it one expedition at a time. But we just want to remind you how proud we are that you're sticking with it and that you are reading the Bible every day. Seth, we're <laughs> proud of them, right? I'm super, super, super proud. Anyway, Mr. <sighs> Seth, what are you? Why are you? It's the Buck Run Kids Show. What are you doing? I'm sorry. I, I am. I, I do apologize. Uh, but, you know, with everything going on, I've been really in the reading this week. I've been wanting to be a better citizen. And so I decided to start looking up laws. And these laws are the most important laws. You're, and, and they're correct. Can I throw one out at you here? You're looking up laws? Like I am. You, I want to be, yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. So can I get, can I throw one sure. out at you? It's hey, important. Man, it's it's just, most important. Just as much your show as anybody else. No, but it, yeah. it's that, okay. All right. So. I mean, in Montana, you can't have a pet rat. It's a law. Why would anyone want a pet rat? Who doesn't have a pet rat? I, you have a pet rat. Okay. No judgment. Okay, okay. so, so, okay. another one. All right. So, in Georgia, in Georgia, you can't carry in an ice cream cone in your back pocket on a Sunday. But you I, can do it the other days. Why would you? I, I don't know. I mean, why you know how many you want to do that? I mean, how many times? You know how many times I've carried an ice cream cone in my back pocket? How many? Quite a few. How does that go? Not so well. Okay. Not so well. Maybe that's a good law. They should <laughs> Maybe expand so. it. Maybe so. More I don't regulation. know. I don't know. Do you want to hear another one, or you sure, just, uh, okay? What well, you well, uh, this one's a little bit odd, but in uh, Little Rock, Arkansas. Uh, the law prevents motorists from honking their horns near a sandwich shop. Well, I mean, the people are like eat. Yeah. You know, they don't want to be or, or drinking something. And it, yeah. I'm a jumpy person. I am. Too, I am too. I would. Yeah, I it's a Coke Zero. Good law. Good, good law. Good law. Good, good law. Yeah. 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 Good for a little rock. Anyway. Yeah. So how many? You got any more? I've got quite a few of these oh, laws here, I, and they're like I said, they've been really. I mean, that's why I'm like I didn't know these, and so. If I want to be better, I'm going to have to learn these. So do you think these laws are really going to help you be a better person? Wow, the internet sets, I, I, I don't know. I mean, I, I thought if anything, I could just read up on them and learn them. Well, clearly you are. Um, but I'm glad that you're looking at the laws. Yeah. I just think there might be some better laws for you to look at. Huh. Yeah, so actually this week on our expedition, we're going to see... Uh, that, that God gave his chosen people, the nation of Israel, mm -hmm. some laws. These are some laws you might be familiar with, like the Ten Commandments. You heard Yeah. That? Oh, yeah. yeah. Why do you think God gave the people those laws? Well, he wanted them to be better people and wanted them to follow Jesus. Yeah. So a lot of times people think that laws and rules are bad things, and some of them, you know, aren't, don't seem very important. But these that we're going to look at this week that God is giving the people of Israel were very important for them, and they're still important for us today, and they're going to last longer than any kind of ice cream law. It's because it's helping God's people, like you and me, understand how, what's best for us. If we live a certain way, we're going to, we're going to flourish because we'll be living huh. the way that God designed us. Remember, several expeditions back, we saw that God created people, mm -hmm. and he created us in a certain way. And when we don't do the right things, when we're sinful, there's a consequence. Mm, Think back to like yeah, Noah. Yeah, fallen world. Yeah, yeah. big mm. time. But when we do things the, the right way, it's actually really good that God's helping us know. He didn't, he's not just an unloving, distant God that created people and said, go figure it out. Yeah. He's involved in our life and he's helping us. So we're really excited for you this week to read, hmm. read about these laws. So these, So it's not important that you are not allowed to whisper in church in Delaware? I don't even know why that's a, that's not true. I whisper all the time in church. Yeah, if you have a question, like, if you're grown up, you can ask yeah, them. Exactly. I mean, 
Exactly. I have to ask my wife all the time. <laughs> What's that word? <laughs> exactly. Oh, man. There are crazy laws in this world. And actually, it's kind of fun. If you want to go look up, have your grown-up Google crazy yeah. laws in the U.S., you'll find some fun things. But what's not crazy is the ver- what we're going to look at this week. When we see in Exodus chapter 20 that God's giving us some really good things, the, these Ten Commandments, they're, they're awesome. You might be familiar with them bef- from previous study in the Bible, but I want to encourage you to to look at them again this week. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, before we head out, we want to uh, definitely practice our snapshot verse for the week, which is found in Exodus chapter 20, verse 2. It's, I am the Lord your God who brought you out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of slavery. God's reminding them who he is and what he's done for them. All right, Seth, you go. Huh? It's illegal? To take a lion to a movie theater in Maryland? Is that the most important thing right now? Oh, man. Uh-huh. Well, you now know you can't have pet rats or take your lion out with you. But I do hope that you find the time to be uh, not distracted mm. and can focus on the Bible for a few minutes each day and spend time with the Lord. And we have a big announcement. Mm. We're really excited because in just a couple weeks on November 1st at 6 p.m., it's the live Buck Run Kids show. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. <laughs> Seth and I are going to be joined by lots of other people, and hopefully you and your family at 6 p.m. will be on stage doing really important things like reviewing uh, crazy laws. Crazy laws. <laughs> uh, we're going to have a time to just have a lot of fun together. Of course, we'll be talking about that week's expedition, and we hope that you and your family will come. That's November 1st at 6 p.m., and don't worry. We'll be getting more details out about it. But until then, uh, we're glad that you joined us this awesome. week on yeah. the Buck Run Kids Show. All right. We'll see you next week. See y'all. Bye.